you can see that it looks a lot better than it did in the beginning, but this actually isn't that great. I'm Rick Buck and I've been a dentist for 14 years. I like to cover all things oral health related, so subscribe if you have teeth and care about your health. In this video today, I will show you how well the N-Tuft Interdental Brush cleans my teeth while I explain what I like and don't like about them. Let's start how I always do by staining all the plaque in my mouth pink and brushing using a brush that I know will leave some plaque behind to test out the interdental brush that I'm using here. This is why cleaning between your teeth is so important. A great floss or interdental brush in this case is more important to me than a great toothbrush. Why? Because most brushes can brush plaque off the exposed surfaces of teeth well. Only great toothbrushes get far in between the teeth. So the better you can clean between the teeth, the less you need a great toothbrush. And today we'll see how these interdental brushes clean my teeth. So let's pause to look at how much plaque we have so we have a starting point to compare with after at the end of this video. Now, these end tough brushes are meant to remove plaque between the gaps in my teeth, like I said. Now, there are a couple of companies that make these brushes, but I chose this one because it was more pointed at the end. So it, in my opinion, had the best chance of getting far between my teeth. There are also other kinds of interdental brushes that aren't similar to this, like TP interdental brushes for the same purpose. And I'll cover those in a different video. And I will tell you which I prefer at the end of this video, but you can also watch that video. The advantage of this video is that on this day, I start with more plaque than I did in that video. And so it isn't exactly a fair comparison. Now, as I get started, I can tell you that these interdental brushes are a little awkward to use because unlike most brushes, you have to be focused on the spot that you want to brush. When you brush your teeth with regular toothbrushes, you can buy, kind of just be less focused because you're still brushing everywhere. But with these interdental brushes, you have to pay attention. What's even more difficult is that if you're going to brush on the back side of your teeth, it is hard to see and focus on those gaps. So it is a little bit difficult to use and especially you have to just kind of rely on the fact that you think you're getting the spot you are on the back side of your teeth. Now, if you really want to know how to clean your teeth really well, watch my best daily brushing and flossy routine video, and I'll post that at the end of this video. Also, I'll link to my favorite brush and floss in an affiliate link below this video, and the brush will be $30 off if you use that link. But now let's stop and look at the results of this inner dental brush. You can see that it looks a lot better than it did in the beginning, meaning we removed quite a bit of plaque from the beginning. But this actually isn't that great. You can see a hue of pink plaque around almost every tooth. In fact, there are quite a few electric toothbrushes that I have reviewed that get further between the teeth than this end tough brush did which is made specifically to clean in between the gaps of the teeth. And so that's one big hang up I have with this already that a toothbrush that you have to do anyways can do a better job than what I've seen here. This includes my favorite toothbrush once again that I linked to below, but most floss will do better than this brush anyway. And if you need to floss anyway, then why use this end tough brush? In fact, on the lower left first molar, you can see where the brush swiped across some of the plaque but didn't even completely remove it. So I'm afraid that it doesn't get far in between my teeth and then what it does get, it kind of swipes across some of it and doesn't fully get it. Now, what it's done here is for most people, but these end tough brushes are marketed for people with braces most of the time. I don't really recommend it for that either because the metal wire of the braces interferes with the brush angle a little too much. If you watch my video about the interdental TP brushes, they're a little bit better if you want to use a brush in between your teeth. And super floss is even better for people with braces. Watch my video on those if you want to know more about how to really floss well and fairly quickly if you have braces. Basically, I just don't really see a use for these brushes when regular brushes do the job better anyway, and then floss does a way better job of getting in between the teeth. If you have braces, I will take anything that helps a kid brush between their teeth when they have braces, because they 
don't really floss that much, but still flossing is better. So the super floss, you probably wanna watch that video. Don't forget to watch my video on the best daily brushing and flossing routine now, and links to all the products I use are in affiliate links below this video. Like and subscribe if you have teeth.